This may look like a bird, but it's actually a dinosaur. <laughs> Okay, maybe that's not scary, but look at this chicken foot and look at this dinosaur foot and tell me that's not crazy. But despite birds being literal dinosaurs, I've never understood people's fascination with twitching. Whenever elderly relatives would say things like, Oh, look, it's a silver crested warble cuggler. I'd think... But then I entered my 30s and I suddenly started noticing different birds and getting excited by them. But the problem is that I have no idea what I'm looking at. So when my friend Cookie, who runs the YouTube channel Wildlife with Cookie, told me he was going bird watching near Coventry and asked if I wanted to come, I thought... Well, I, I thought he was being sexist, so I called him out. But then he clarified what he meant. So I decided... Why not? Let's go bird watching with my mate Cookie. I, you're far too close. I can't yeah. see you through there. What are we doing today? We're looking for woodpeckers. Yeah, you like you like hunting in the wood for peckers. That's what you sent in the message to me, isn't it? Yeah. You say my favourite pastime is to go to the woods and hunt out peckers. I love peckers of all sizes. Okay, so uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try and spot the lesser spotted woodpecker. The little peckers, yeah. The tiny peckers. The smaller the better. That's what he always says. micro pecker. That sounds outrageous, mate. You can't <laughs> say that. So we headed off into the wood to try and find the lesser spotted woodpecker, which I learnt meant that it wasn't spotted often and not that it had less spots than regular woodpeckers. I mean, only an idiot would think that. There was a logbook at the reserve where people could write down what they'd seen, but no one had written down lesser spotted woodpecker and no one had written it on this board, so I wasn't feeling optimistic, but Cookie assured me that he'd seen one there and knew the exact spot to look. Then again, how much can you trust a guy with his own YouTube channel on his back? So apparently these holes here are from woodpeckers. Cookie he just called this woodpecker alley. I don't know if that's like just what he calls it, but he's definitely been hunting for peckers down here before. Here in woodpecker alley, you can get all three native species of woodpecker. So the greens, the greater spotted, and the lesser spotted woodpeckers all here. Do we stay here then? What's the plan? Do we stay here or do we move on? No, we stay here. Give it, give it a bit of time and hopefully something flies in. You'll be able to tell by the sound. Something okay. will come in and, or you hear knocking. Something exciting will happen. All right, well, let's wait for something exciting to happen. I started looking up in the trees and I wasn't really sure what I was looking for, but at least I looked like a professional twitcher. I then noticed that Cookie was also filming a video. Cookie can't hear me right now, but I think it's a little bit rude. He's filming a video at the same time. Never told me. No, he's filming a video. Are you right, mate? Yeah, you? You yeah. seen anything? No, 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 nothing yet, no. Sad, isn't it? I think he heard me. After that embarrassment, I took myself off to the woods where I watched and waited and watched and waited. I even tried making some bird calls. I really thought that you would just see birds right away. This is a lot, uh, a lot slower process than I thought it would be. At this point, I wasn't sure bird watching was going to be for me. It was a bit wet, a bit cold, and I wasn't convinced I had the patience for it. But fortunately, Cookie's enthusiasm didn't falter. Can't lie to you, John. It's a, it's a bit dead right now. He did have a cool app he wanted to show me that listened for bird calls. So you've got chiff chaffs, robins. Tell you what, it doesn't have birds, John. No woodpeckers. There's no woodpeckers. It's like a Shazam for birds. That's crazy. It's sick, isn't it? Hey. Merlin ID, get that, wicked. Merlin ID. Not sponsored. So then he showed me what we were meant to be listening for. <laughs> but still nothing. I was beginning to give up hope until we heard something. Okay, we, we just heard a woodpecker make a little screech. Was that it? Was that, 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 was that was the it. sound? That was the sound, yeah. It yeah. sounded to me like it was like this direction. It was quite high, it wasn't low down. Yeah, they're also quite flighty, so it could just dart in and out of the trees. It appeared the trail had gone cold and I wasn't feeling particularly helpful, but I kept seeing Cookie pull this face when he was trying to hear things, so I did it too, so I could at least look like I was trying. You heard something? No, it's just... You do, you do that face, so I thought I'd give it a go. I decided to get this badass shot of me in the trees, but as I did, it all seemed to kick off again. Wait, John, that... What's up, what's up, what's up? That might be what I can't tell. Yeah, that's it, where is he? Can you hear that noise? I can hear the little... Wait, he just chip, moved. Chip, chip. He's there, it's, I see him, I see him, I see him. You got him, you got him, you got him. Can you hear it? I can hear it, where are you looking? He's moved. You hear that really... Where is he? Chirp, 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 chirp. There's a real high-pitched one, that is it, right there. I can't see it though, but that is it. Can you hear it? I can hear it, I can hear it. We seem to be so close, but again, the lesser spotted woodpecker was showing us how it got its name by seemingly disappearing. I didn't get the lesser spotted, but it's, it's still here somewhere. So I guess we just 
Wait. Cookie did, however, manage to find the more common great spotted woodpecker, and I was genuinely amazed by the footage. <gasps> That's a greater spotted. Okay, I've got the greater. Taking that, guys. I didn't. That's that. That's a pickup shot because I, I didn't film me actually looking at it properly. Despite my stage reaction, I did finally feel like I was starting to understand Cookie's enthusiasm. So I asked him more about it. Uh, probably in the last like three years, I've really talked to it more and more. As I'm getting older, isn't it? It's just sort of one of those things. It's like it's like Pokemon but real. Pokemon but real. Yeah, because like lesser spotted woodpeckers would be like I don't know finding a Pikachu or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that sort of thing because they're so rare. Um, I get mad excited like, when, when you see it. It's That's cool, <laughs> I like that. Sadly, it started raining, like a lot, and it didn't show signs of letting up. That ain't looking good, is it? And unfortunately, birds don't really fly in the rain if they don't have to, so with a heavy heart, Cookie and I called it a day and decided to dry out in the cafe. But was I really going to give up? Had I come all this way to let a bit of rain end the video? Cookie had opened my eyes to the wonders of twitching, so surely I'm not going to let a bit of rain stop me. No, I'm not. I'm going to put my binoculars on, get back out there, and find me a pecker. Except it was still pretty wet. And there was no signs of the lesser spotted woodpecker, so... Yeah. It's one week later and I think I understand what went wrong last time. The thing is, last time we were operating on an empty stomach, so this time I've brought snacks. I've brought a cookie for cookie. Hey, cookie, do you want a cookie? Yes. The weather is better today though and it isn't meant to rain, but it did rain last night, which cookie explained was a good thing to me, so hopefully we've got a better chance of seeing the woodpecker today. So it's a good thing because all the birds come out when it's not raining and also, which is really good, all the bugs come out so the birds can eat them. And that's really good. And with those words of encouragement, I was feeling optimistic and it didn't take long before we heard the woodpecker. Did you hear that? I did, yeah. It's, uh, it's around here somewhere. Did something just drop then? I, d I didn't see anything, no. Nothing. No, that's another one. There's two. There's two. There's two. They'll just sort of perch up somewhere, be there for five seconds and dip. That! There's one that, right there. Right there. Uh, uh. Where is it? He's there. Oh, 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 yes, 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 I see, I see, I see. The thing is, is there's so many bird noises. Like, the forest is, like, alive with bird noises, and it's really hard to know which one I should be listening out for. The trail had gone cold, and just like that, the excitement was over. But I just don't, I don't think they can't still be there. We've been here too long. If they move the way you've said, they're not still there. No, I don't think so. I was back to questioning whether or not bird watching was for me when this older gentleman came over to talk to us and started telling us about his sightings of the lesser spotted woodpecker. Sitting on there, was that? Yeah, I know, fair enough. We'll see if we can get it. I think what struck me in this moment wasn't the fact that we had a lead, but the fact that despite not knowing a thing about each other, Cookie and this man were talking because of their mutual love of wildlife. And this shared passion had led to a moment of connection and a genuine want to help each other. Yeah, well, thank you very much for uh, for, for letting us know your sightings. I'll be back with you later. Yeah, well... Hopefully they'll be saying in that time. Whilst listening for the woodpeckers, we were joined by some robins. So Cookie let me have a go with his big yeah. camera. Are you getting some nice footage for us there, John? I think so. But in reality, the only thing I filmed was this shot of a robin taking a poop. Oh, it just pooped. It just pooped. The reality is that Cookie and I have been here for a few hours now. And although you can still hear birds, there's definitely a lot less chirping than there was when we got here. So I'm really starting to worry now that actually we might not see the woodpecker today. It really wasn't looking good, so Cookie and I decided to split up to cover more ground to listen out for the lesser spotted woodpecker. And just as I was trying to get its call up on my phone, this happened. John? Yeah? Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Wait, it's on, it's on the back, between these trees on the back. It's sort of like climbing up. Can you see it? No. It's climb. It's uh. I can't. I'm trying to film it. Hold on. I've got it. It's it's going up the tree. Oh no, he's gone. 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 But I got it. I'm pretty sure I got it. We got yes, it. Yeah. We got it. 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 I don't know why we're jumping. As you can see, I was trying to be excited, but I was honestly gutted to have not seen it myself. But when I saw the footage, I understood Cookie's excitement.
Just as Cookie was showing me that footage, it came and landed pretty much in the exact same spot, but we didn't get the camera out in time. But uh, long story short, we found the lesser spotted woodpecker. <laughs> It might seem odd, but I genuinely took a lot from this experience. Like how it's good to try new things and embrace our changes in interest as we get older. And how it's important to protect the habitats of our wildlife and a robin's right to poop in privacy. But I think the biggest takeaway for me is how important it is to carve time out with friends, even if the only thing you do at that time is sit in the woods and look at birds.